All right, this time, different personnel, different type of spacing, but same event is being manipulated and generated from Chris Paul. What makes him a Hall of Fame and one-of-one style playmaker in terms of his ability to do things on the on the floor with the live dribble especially is that he's great at playing with his eyes. His eyes will almost always tell defenders lies and also move them and shift them to generate advantages off of optics alone. We're going to see that unfold here as we see them kind of set up for some empty side pick and roll, laying the shot clock as they re-space on the second side. However, let's look at where Chris Paul's eyes are. He's going to be looking in this field of vision here. Looking at between these two is Isaac Okoro and Karis LeVert. You can already see Karis LeVert pointing for Okoro to stay here and wait for Chris Paul to come on this baseline drive as he's going to be the low man. So as we let it flow through, this is what Chris Paul is looking for, and he's generating data based off of that. So he sees the help is sitting there waiting for him. So he drags it out initially, and then he's going to engage more. As he's engaging more, and we back it up So I'm looking off. We'll also see Landry Shaman lifting here and putting himself in position to make another one of these gap cuts from the weak side. And as we slow it down, we're going to see Chris Paul hesitate, then engage. And look at this again. Eyes always tell lies. They think he's going to the corner. You can see off of the reactions from Okoro and Levert. And instead, it's going to be a wicked bounce pass.